What's up everybody, welcome to another video. I'm gonna call this roughly like month and a half kind of update on Refold and doing Mandarin Chinese. Um, after, so after I had finished my one month update video, uh, life kind of got a little hectic there. Me and my wife went through some personal stuff like um, that we were dealing with and in and out of hospital and there's a couple of different things going on there. And um, so I'd kind of, been doing a little bit of uh, Mandarin, but not quite in the, you know, refold or, you know, just massive input um, phase that I would like to do. Um, and then around a, uh, August 1st, I kind of picked it back up, like more intensively once things had settled down and I had the opportunity to um, do so and whatnot. Also, yeah, my shirt is like, uh, I was just sitting here, I'm, I'm watching the Refold Roundtable, or listening to the Refold Roundtable um, from August 9th, and I was like, man, I should do an update video. Um, I was taking a little bit of time away from Chinese today to listen to that, because I enjoy listening to podcasts about language learning, and I'm sitting here with my tattered, like, torn up stuff just from doing stuff around the house today, so that's why I look all haggard and stuff. But anyway, so um, over the last two weeks, I, I've gotten, you know, I don't want to say back into it, because I didn't quit. It's just kind of life stuff was getting in the way and things like that. And so um, still immersing and things like that. I'm up over 400 cards in my Anki deck from like just sentence mining and things like that. And that's still going really well. Sentence mining, I'm really, really enjoying. Still going through some different grammar things. Um, I'm about halfway through the HSK3 section, maybe a little bit further. Like I've, I've basically done maybe five or ten more lessons since that for one month update video from Hello Chinese and I'm still reviewing and things like that. Um, and all that's going well. But the main thing is, is that I went to a Chinese restaurant yesterday. And so I, I've been going to a, a one, one that's closer to me and I, I'll say a thing or two or whatever and you know, whatever, but, it, but it's never been like an in-depth conversation. And I went to a Chinese restaurant um, yesterday and well on Friday whenever, I don't know when this is going to be posted, but on Friday. And, uh, so I, I, uh, I was like, you know what? Today is the day, man. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to speak. Um, and I'm going to see what's going to happen and we're just going to go from there. And so, uh, I went to this restaurant and I didn't know if they were Cantonese speakers or Mandarin speakers or anything like that. And so I was walking around, uh, it was a buffet. So I was, I was getting some food. I met a friend there and, uh, they started speaking and they started speaking in Mandarin. I knew it was Mandarin because I, I knew what they were saying. And uh, so I walked past them and I asked, I said in Chinese, I said, oh, you speak, I, I said, oh, you speak Mandarin. And they said, oh, uh, you know, ni shuo zhang ma. And so the woman looked at me and she kind of laughed. She's like, ah, you know, and I was just like, okay, I guess she doesn't really care. So I went and sat down at my table and uh, like a few minutes had passed and you know, I was just sitting there eating and drinking, talking to my friend, you know, that I hadn't seen in a little while. And she came over to the table and she said, um, what, did, what did you just say to me? And I said, oh, I said, uh, ni, ni shu, ni shu wen, ma. and she was like, and then she just started answering in Chinese and she was like floored, like absolutely floored. And we talked for a little bit, just talked about, she obviously had asked if I'd ever been to China and I told her no, but I told her that I, you know, I'd like to go either there, you know, Taiwan and, uh, asked her where she was from and she said that she was actually from Taiwan. And so I asked her, you know, what, what city and she was from Taipei. And anyway, we had this like little conversation and, uh, like in that moment I was like, okay, um, you know, I, I've studied languages in the past and I've always said I wanted to do something like this. And, you know, I, I've done it like the Arabic spot down here. I learned enough Arabic to, you know, order food again, but never really have anything deeper than that. Um, even when I order at the local Chinese restaurant, like closer to me, it's usually never anything past like, uh, I, I want this, you know what I mean? Like it's never been anything crazy and so having like a little bit deeper of a conversation oh why are you learning how long are you how long have you been learning um what's the interest what do you do for work like we had a little bit deeper of a conversation and I wasn't good um but that's not the point um you know and I even told her I said you know I'm sorry you know my tones are bad I'm working with uh I, I watch videos and like I try to work on my tones like x amount of time a day 
And, uh, and she was like, no, 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 your, your tones are, it, it's not that they're bad, they're fine, I can understand what you're saying. And so that was like motivating, which I know a lot of times native speakers will, you could probably butcher something and they don't really, they'll be like, oh, you sound great, right? But, um, but the thing is, it was, it was super motivating and I realized, okay, outside of what I'm doing, whether it be uploading videos on YouTube or whatever, like what do I want to do with language? And that's it just share little moments with people like, and it was so fulfilling. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get to do that again, but it may, it kind of reset my goals of saying, okay, you got to work even harder because next time you go in there, next time you speak with another Chinese person, you got to be better than you were, you know? And not, not the, you can't have an off day or anything. I just mean like as far as vocabulary and, uh, and things like that, like I just need to work a little bit harder. Um, maybe pick better words. I'm really bad for sentence mining to where if it's, if it's, if it's a plus one sentence, I'll sentence mine it. I, I sentence mine the word, um, natural disaster the other day. Um, because the, the guy was using it in a context where it was like, oh man, you know, he, he's bad off. He, he's like a natural disaster. I can't recall it right off, but I, if I heard it, I would know, which is also something I, I want to work on my recall a little bit like I was doing previously. But anyway, that's a whole different story. But anyway, uh, it was super motivating and it made me realize that, um, hey, this is what, you know, this is what you're doing language for. Um, and that's it. You know, it's, it's funny how your goals change because, you know, when I was doing Japanese, I was like, well, I don't even know if I'll be able to speak to people. I just want to watch all this media and stuff like that. But, you know, and I'm enjoying Chinese media, but man, if I can just do all this stuff in Chinese, be able to understand it in the media, but that way I can, you know, learn how to hear the language, which helps you, you know, the more you listen, the better your pronunciation can get as well. And be able to go in and just have these little conversations with people, man. It's like, it's like the most motivating thing in the world. So that was such an awesome experience and I can't wait to do it again. And the woman that owns it told me, she said, okay, she said, you know, practice. Cause next time you come in, I'm not using English. Cause I know you speak Chinese now. And I said, no, okay. All right. I guess that's going to happen. So, um, but man, that's what, that's what language is to me, you know? And I know everybody has different goals and it's okay. Uh, it's okay if you don't want to speak or whatever. I'm not criticizing that. You know, I think everybody has different goals for different reasons and that's perfectly fine. And I think that, um, I just think that my goals have kind of changed. I, I've become a little bit more outgoing than I used to be. Um, and I got really bad to where I didn't like to leave the house over the past year. And then I went and hung out with one of my friends that came in from Florida. We had like a, a big gathering and a bunch of, a bunch of us played, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and, you know, a bunch of board games, you know, and then I went and I did the Greek video, um, and so that's kind of what a lot of is going on on this channel. You know, I, I want to be speaking language to people. Not, I'm not saying I'm going to do like a video, like, you know, Ari or, you know, Shalma or anything, but like, that's, I, I want to incorporate language and culture into one. So videos like the Greek videos, my update videos, maybe I'll try to speak to somebody sometime, but it's, uh, it, it won't be as cool as what other YouTubers do, but just stuff out there and just sharing experiences with the people and, that's what language is about, a sharing experience, at least to me, you know, like it's, it's what I've always done. So as I, as I, as I've become a little more outgoing and we're still a long ways away, I'm still pretty introverted, but like, as I've done stuff, I was thinking like, man, it would have been cool if I would have spoke Greek for, you know, that, that woman, you know, going to that Greek restaurant and stuff. So like, and then going to this Chinese restaurant, I thought to myself, I'm not going to go to a Chinese restaurant and miss this opportunity to practice with somebody. And that's, 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 I've, I made up my mind and I did it. And that's what Chinese has taught me so far. Uh, and just doing what I'm doing is enjoying the process, uh, slowly building vocabulary and man, I had an opportunity to speak it and I took it, uh, you know, a little bit deeper than just the, the standard little bit of a conversation of, Hey, I want this. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, man, it was so awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. A little bit of an update video. So we're calling this about a month and a half. I'll probably do a two month update video, probably around the first, like September 1st or so. And um, kind of be back on track with that. Cause like I said, there was a couple weeks there where we were at doctor's offices and, and hospitals and stuff like that dealing with stuff. And even though I was doing a little bit of reading, a little bit of this, that, and that, I'm not really gonna count that as time. Cause it was like, 
you know, 30 minutes or 45 minutes a day. And not that, you know, I mean, spending any time is good, but it wasn't kind of that massive thing that I, that I've been doing, uh, since when, you know, when I started doing refold again. So, but anyway, gonna end this video here. Cause if not, I will end up talking forever. You guys know that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. If you have anything that you'd like to see, let me know down below trying foods, experiencing different cultures, whatever. Cause like I said, that's, I want that, that to be what this channel is, is language. Yes. But just experiencing cultures as I make myself more comfortable with becoming more outgoing, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, sorry for looking haggard, but uh, like I said, late at night, just wanted to get this done and update you guys on what's happening. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.